Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Marnie, from 1964. It's the 11th film in Alfred Hitchcock, the Masterpiece Collection, is directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and stars Tippi Hedren and Sean Connery. I always felt a bit wonky about this collection of Hitchcock films being called the Masterpiece Collection because while the majority of the films in Alfred Hitchcock the Masterpiece Collection are some of his undeniable bangers, the end of the collection, the last six films, are just not that great, but they get worse as you go along if memory serves me well, which it doesn't, so I guess this is still an experiment, but I do remember as much that I don't like the last six films of this collection. This all started with the last film, The Birds, which, again, I know a lot of people like, but it's just not my cup of tea. And now we continue the fall of Alfred Hitchcock, the masterpiece collection, with Marty. However, whereas I can see what people like about The Birds, I can't see the same thing in Marty. It's basically a movie about a man that blackmails a woman into becoming his wife. It's a movie where women are sex objects and men suck. What, am I wrong? Am I seeing the movie through the incorrect lens? Please, use the comment section to tell me I'm wrong that Sean Connery doesn't threaten to reveal Tippi Hedren's criminal wrongdoings unless she submits to him and to be his wife. Basically, it's pretty goddamn clear to me that this is what's going on in this film. The Internet Movie Database plot synopsis is Mark marries Marty, although she is a habitual thief and has serious psychological problems, and tries to help her confront and resolve them. That's certainly a way to describe the plot while glossing over that Mark forces Marty to marry him and he only helps her at the very end of the movie in a scene that feels it's only there to remind us that Hitchcock used to be a master of intrigue and suspense, but something went very wrong when it comes to Marty. This film is a terrible piece of shit and I can't find anything redeeming about it. All I can find is more unflattering things to say. Is it Hitchcock's worst film? I'm certain it isn't, as I believe a later film in Alfred Hitchcock, the Masterpiece Collection, holds that dishonor, but just in case I'm remembering wrong, I'm going to give this film a D, because at least the casting of Sean Connery feels right, as Mark likes to threaten women with physical violence. Join me tomorrow when we go to the next film in Alfred Hitchcock, the Masterpiece Collection, the hopefully better Torn Curtain. See y'all then.